Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is me, the HBIC Mexicus4666. How's it going for y'all today? I have here Jeff Jones's deck profile. If you want to also see it, you can go check out Voltage's Facebook fan page. I'll leave it in the description below so you can go check that out. But I have it right here in front of me. And this is what he played at the UDS what is it, Ultimate Duelist Series or something. Where that's basically where you can win like a WWE belt. And he was playing Phantom Knights with some speed roids and stuff. And let's take a look at his deck profile right now. Because this is the deck that people are talking about. Because he made this card go up to about $40. Thank God for me I have everything in this deck but Ghost Ogre and Teleports. Because I am waiting to Gold Series. But let's take a look at his deck. He plays the single Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. He plays Mathematician. I know this deck would be more explosive and you could play three Mathematician, but Konami put it down to one. And I know this is one of Jeff's favorite cards to play because you can do so many combos with Mathematician. And then you have the Speed Roy, Take Tone Borg. You have three Terror Tops, one Dice, the Tuner Guy, which is really nice. Super Quantum Blue Lair. He obviously used this with Emergency Teleport. Then you have three Ancient Cloaks, three Ragged Gloves, three Silent Boots, and then the spells Dark Hole, three Emergency Teleports, Foolish Burial, Raigeki, Reinformers of the Army, Triple Twin Twister. And then you have three Phantom Knight Fog Blades, three Phantom Knight Swords. Three Phantom Knight Wings, three Solemn Strikes, and then Solemn Warning for Jeff's main deck. Now let's look at the side deck is three Maxis, the final Dark Hole, three System Down, three Any Spell Fragrant, two Magic Deflectors. Now this card came out in Abyss Rising. I don't even have this card. I don't think. This card basically says for the rest of this turn, negate the... Negate? I can't even talk. For the rest of the turn, negate all equip, field, continuous, and quick play spell cards on the field. You know, that is actually pretty damn good. Because you can negate continuous cards. You can negate, like, any spell fragrance for the turn and stuff. That's pretty damn broke. I remember this thing, too. This is like one of Kaiba's virus cards. Well, the artwork of it, if you guys watched the original series. Then you have three Mask Restricts, obviously, for those Monarchs, because I know he was shutting down those Monarchs with this. Then you have the only Synchro Monster, Trushla. Two Dante. Dark Rebellion and Exceed Dragon. Before people ask, because I know in the last deck profile that people ask how the hell you make this. When this thing dies, and you have two Phantom Knights of the same levels in your graveyard... You can resurrect it. One Downer Magician, Evil Sworn Nightmare, two Leviers, one Nightmare Shark. I'm waiting. This is going up slowly, like I said in my overexposed. Just wait for it. Nightmare Shark, Master Key Beetle, Utopic Future, three Phantom Knights of Breaksword. This card has the stats of Castell and the power of Scrap Dragon. And when it dies, you can bring back two Phantom Knight monsters of the same level and make them one level higher. And then Tri Edge Lavelle. So this is Jeff Jones's deck. Now, one thing I love about Jeff, he likes to play decks that people do not know what the fuck your, his cards do at all. Where well, you have to read them and stuff, and that's where he takes advantage of them. I'm just happy for once. I have a deck all done. It's not all like hollowed out and all that. Well, yeah, it is pretty much. I have like the Solemn Strike stuff. I have everything for the deck. It's like I can play something that is like tier one, even though I don't know if this is considered really tier one yet, but you guys know what I mean. It's like I can play something that all the pro players and stuff really enjoy. And I really enjoy Phantom Knights. Even though I am playing a different Light Swarm build that I will show you guys later this week. But yeah, this is his deck. Tell me what you guys think overall. I enjoy it. I like the combo. The synergy is good. And I know a lot of people don't agree with playing like so many swords. Obviously you play three Fog Blades because of Phoenix Chain. I know a lot of people like only playing one sword and like two wings or maybe one wing. But this is pretty damn good. So, overall, I like it. Congratulations to Jeff for third place. I know he wanted that trophy. And I know he lost in top four because in time, the guy made a bulk of swords and beat him. Other than that, he would have won. So, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more videos, more deck profiles and stuff, let me know. If you want exclusive deck profile with Jeff Jones explaining everything, 
I'll see what I can do to make him do it on Voltage's game, Voltage's Facebook page or YouTube channel since I do that stuff for them. So yeah, stay tuned and yeah, bye. Catch me if you can.